Hey everyone, this is Joanne coming to you live from New York. I'm also known as hashtag Unicorn Boss. So as you guys are jumping online tonight, go ahead and hit me up with some unicorn emojis because those are my jam. If you're grabbing me live, go ahead and leave me a number one. And if you're catching me on the replay, go ahead and leave me a number two. So super excited tonight, you guys. I'm going to do something completely crazy. I'm fasting right now, but I figured why not cook uh, and get some uh, food together for my family. So if you're ready to hang in uh, for a great kid up keto kitchen tonight make sure you go ahead and stay tuned so I see a bunch of you guys jumping online welcome if you're grabbing me live go ahead and leave me a number one and if you're catching me on the replay go ahead and leave me a number two by the way if you're a brand new friend don't forget to comment new below so that way I can circle back around and connect with you and if we're not friends yet make sure you go ahead and send me a friend request and hit follow and if you haven't followed me yet just take a quick second for me right now you can just click on my face it will take you over to my page and from there you can click on the follow button. I so appreciate your love and support with that. I am working to build up my followers. So welcome everybody who loves uh, nice, creamy, cheesy, delicious casseroles. If you love casserole dishes, go ahead and comment casserole below and feel free to share with me uh, what your favorite type of casserole is. Let me say hi to a few people real quick and then we will go ahead and get started. I'm so glad that a bunch of you guys are online. I know, online. I know it's getting really late. So Hey Maddie, hi Shanna, hi Patty, Megan, Renee, Amy, Maria, Austin, Don. Awesome. Welcome, Don. I see you're a brand new friend. So happy to have you. So welcome, everybody. Let me go ahead and go over the recipe real quick with you all, and then we will go ahead and get started, and we will get cooking. And by the way, I am in the middle of a 60-hour fast right now. I don't know if any of you are keto. If you are, go ahead and comment keto below and let me know how long you've been on the journey. Um, so I'm in the middle of a fast, but I had to cook some food for my family, so I figured why not? Welcome, Terry. I see you're brand new. Happy to have you. Um, so tonight we're going to be making a low carb sour cream beef bake. So what do you guys think? Sounds delicious, right? I'm really excited to try this one. I am modifying it slightly from the original recipe, just so you know, um, because I didn't have all the ingredients, but I am like to do like hashtag make it work, you guys. Um, <laughs> you know, um, it's, it's okay to slightly modify recipes um, and kind of just go with it. So don't ever be afraid to do that while you're in the kitchen. So um, let's go over the info for the macros real quick and then we'll start cooking. So, and I see bunch of keto comments. I love it. Kaylee's down 30 pounds already, 12 weeks. High five, sister. I'm so proud of you. That's amazing. Hi, America. Welcome. Uh, Debbie's five weeks in her keto journey. I'm so, so proud of you, sister. Okay, so for our macros, this is supposed to serve eight, so it's a nice big uh, serving for if you have a large family or even a medium family, or you could do like me and pack it for lunches all week when you're not fasting, right? <laughs> um, so it's got 296 calories, uh, 15 grams of fat, so nice and high on the fat scale. Remember, if you're keto, you guys, you don't have to be afraid of fat. It takes fat to burn fat, and I know for me, when I keto, high fat really works for me. It really helps me to shed those pounds. Um, only seven grams of total net carbs, so nice and low on the carb scale, and protein is 32 grams of total protein. So these are definitely some really nice keto macros for you to get started. So let's go ahead and get going here. While I throw some coconut oil in my pan for cooking, why don't you guys feel free to tell me how your day was. Um, happy Unicorn Monday. For those of you that follow me, I always do Unicorn Monday on my page. So hopefully everybody had a decent Monday. <laughs> I know sometimes uh, Mondays can be tough, right? Back to work. So, all right. We'll start with, I like to start with one tablespoon and then if I need more, I will go ahead and add some more. All right. So what did everybody have for their keto dinner tonight? I'd be so curious to know. Feel free to go ahead and shout out and share with me. So first step is um, I'm adding a few additional ingredients. Um, this recipe actually doesn't call for garlic, but I'm going to go ahead and just put like two cloves of garlic in here because I don't know, I just kind of felt like the recipe was a little plain. I do like to do simple on my page and I always do quick and easy in case you're brand new to me, welcome. I've almost hit my year mark on my keto journey. I started last November. I'm down about 60 pounds and I'm really loving uh, this lifestyle and what it's done for me. Hi Tim, welcome. We're go doing a low carb sour cream beef bake. So sounds super yummy and delicious. I just have a few modifications that I'm doing here. I'm just waiting for my oil to melt and then we will start browning 
adding some uh, garlic. Um, it's really easy. We're going to do some frozen cauliflower rice, um, some ground beef, some tomato sauce, sour cream, cottage cheese, cheddar, um, and then if you wanted to, a uh, green onion. I actually don't have any green onions, so I'm just going to leave that out. And I also don't have the cottage cheese, so I'm just going to risk it and go for it. I think it's going to be delicious without it if I don't have it. Thank you so much for sharing, Merica. By the way, if you guys uh, have fun and you enjoy my page, make sure you go ahead and give this video a quick share. I so appreciate your love and support. And if I catch it on the live feed, I'll give you a full name shout out. So yeah, it's starting to get cold, right, uh, Andrew? I know, today was uh, definitely nippy in New York. So, all right, let's go ahead and throw some, about two cloves of garlic in here. Um, I just felt like the recipe was lacking a little bit of um, spices and herbs and things like that. So I'm just going to go ahead and add a few quick and easy things to the recipe, just to give it a little bit more depth and flavor. It's still gonna be cheesy and delicious, um, but definitely did wanna just, Put a few more things in there. I don't know about you guys, I love garlic. Are, do I have any garlic fans? If I do, go ahead and comment garlic below. So I'm just going to let this uh, brown up just a little bit and then we'll go ahead and put our beef in here and start letting it brown. So, turn it down just a little bit. I'll try not to get the oil all over my shirt. Thanks for sharing, Tara Hope. Thanks for sharing, Matt Crocked. Hi, Diara. Let's see who else, did I miss any other shares? <laughs> Okay, great. So what did everybody have for their dinner tonight? I would love to hear about it. Oh, I see all the garlic comments. I love garlic too, you guys. It just brings so much flavor and depth to recipes, doesn't it? Thanks for sharing Amy Patterson Passarella. Hopefully I said that right. <laughs> I'm actually fasting right now, so I don't know if any of you are fasting along with me. So it's gonna be a little bit tough to smell all this deliciousness, but I know so many of you um, have to cook for your families too when you're fasting, so yes, garlic is life. I agree with you, Diara. Keto broccoli and cheddar soup. That was actually one of the very first recipes I ever made when I was keto, and I love it so, so much. Okay, so we're starting to brown up there. Let me go ahead and get the meat in. So the recipe calls for a pound and a half of grass, well, I use grass-fed beef where possible. Um, so, my pan is like super hot. Turn it down a little bit. Um, I believe I only have a pound though, so I'm, I'm gonna kind of like guesstimate on halfing the rest of the ingredients that I have here. Andrew had Mexican food. Oh, you're killing me, I love Mexican. I'm gonna give that a minute just to kind of warm up there. So once we have our, um, this is really easy to do you guys. Once our beef is finished browning, um, we're gonna add some tomato sauce, some salt and pepper and seasoning, and then pretty much we will begin to build the casserole. And um, you would use the sour cream and the cottage cheese to build um, basically almost like a, a lasagna. We're gonna make layers. Now, I don't think I have enough beef to actually do true layers for this, so it's probably just gonna end up being two layers, one layer of beef, and then one layer of um, the cream and the cheese. But if you had enough beef to do like two or three layers, I think that would be super yummy and really good, so. How was everybody's weekend? Did you guys do anything fun? I would love to hear about it. Feel free to share with me while we're waiting for this beef to brown. I know this is like the boring part of the video. <laughs> so by the way, while I'm waiting for this to brown, gosh, it smells so good. The garlic is really starting to come to me now. It's amazing. So part of what this recipe calls for, and this is a neat little keto hack, you can feel free to make your own cauliflower rice, of course, um, but I'm just gonna do nice and quick and easy. I've got a plain rice cauliflower. So this is the only carbs that are coming from this are just from the cauliflower itself. There's nothing in here, no sugar, no sauces or anything like that. Aw, oh, thanks for the love, Maria, I appreciate it. 
Um, so I'm actually gonna put this in the microwave now and get it going because we're gonna use this as part of our casserole when we build our layers. So they're kind of dragon wings, so I'm gonna bring out my inner geek right now. For those of you that don't know, I'm a super geek. I just play a lot of the video games and do all the things. Um, so these wings are actually from, I don't know how to show you guys. I don't know, can you see them? Um, they're actually from a Magic the Gathering card. <laughs> And I used to, gosh, I'll have to whip it out one day. I can't remember what card it is even anymore. But it was like a, um, a mermaid creature. So it's technically water, um, but she had these beautiful wings. And so, so yeah, that's where my, my wings are from. So, And if you're a gamer at all, feel free to shout out. Let me know what you're playing right now. Um, I've got all the systems, but I'm really loving the Nintendo Switch right now. As you can tell, Kirby shirt in hand. I am definitely a Nintendo fan girl at heart, so. Oh my gosh, the uh, <laughs> the dryer is totally going off right now. Excuse me while well, that's probably gonna beep like four more times, you guys. <laughs> All right, so we're getting nice and brown here, getting a nice little gravy, which is really nice. Can you guys see okay? I wasn't even paying attention. Here we go. And if you ever wanna see better, you can always swipe the comments to the side, by the way. So I see a bunch of brand new people jumping on welcome. Tonight we're doing a low carb sour cream beef bake. So sounds really good. It's gonna be creamy and cheesy. And uh, I can't wait to try it. I'm gonna have to wait though till my fast is over. I am fasting right now, but I'm still cooking um, some dinner for my family, so. Almost done here just a few more minutes I'm gonna hopefully get back to the gaming Fridays real soon uh, Andrew I'm sorry that you guys have missed it I've had a few of you ask so I usually do a live video game stream on Friday I call it fun Friday so you guys can feel free to hang out with me and uh, just spend some time together let me turn the dryer off hold on okay <laughs> hashtag real life right um, Work has been really intense uh, for me, you guys, but hopefully this Friday we'll get to do some gaming. Um, feel free to shout out and uh, maybe share what game you'd like to see me play. If I have it, I'll play it. I'll do like a little vote. Um, but yeah. Okay, we're almost here. I kind of take a quick piece quick quick peek and see what's next hi Ann. welcome thanks for joining okay so we're gonna brown our ground beef um, and that says to drain and stir it stir in the tomato sauce I'm actually not gonna drain it because I like to keep the healthy fats in my um, in my casserole do you guys do that too I'd be curious to know um, and then we're gonna add in some tomato sauce and some salt and pepper and then we'll start to build the the cheese cream sauce that we'll use to make our layers for our casserole. Hey Dory, welcome. It's interesting, we're gonna mix the sour cream with the cottage cheese if you had it, um, and the cauliflower rice all together. So the rice is actually gonna be part of the creamy cheese sauce. So it sounds really interesting, I can't wait to try it. Hey Sharon, welcome. Hi Andrea, thanks for sharing so much, sweet sister. I appreciate the share, so if you guys are having fun and you enjoy my page, make sure you give that video a quick share. Okay, so this is pretty much good to go here. Let me go ahead and add in, it calls for, um, let's see, how much sauce? A 15 ounce can of, sugar, of uh, sorry, of tomato sauce. Um, 15 ounces is about two, two cups of sauce. Um, so this is two cups of sauce that I have right here. I'm actually only gonna put one cup in. I didn't think of it until after I poured it out, but being that I only have one cup of beef, or sorry, one pound of beef, I, th I think that two cups actually might be too much sauce. So let's put about half of this in and see how it does. We can always add more, so. I saw a comment there about the grass-fed beef. Yeah, I do find that it's harder to break down the grass-fed beef, and you would think that it wouldn't be just because um, it's got all of, I don't know, 
it's, it's more tender and it's got usually more fat in it. It's so much better for you and for the animals as well. Um, but yeah, they kind of it kind of stays chunky. It doesn't really break down like normal does. Yeah, I'm not sure why. It's pretty interesting. I'm sure somebody on here knows. There's so many great, amazing keto people. So our uh, cauliflower rice is almost done, by the way. So you're going to hear the microwave beep in just a moment here. So while this is just kind of browning a little bit, I wanted to talk a little bit about uh, tomato sauce. I get a lot of questions about this um, just in my inbox, in my messenger. A lot of you guys, I'm going to turn this off because it's about to go off. Um, a lot of you ask what kind of uh, pasta sauces and tomato sauces you can have on keto. So there's a few things that you can really look for. I do like this brand. It's called Bertoli. And you've probably seen me share this before. Um, the great thing about it is that it says right on the front here, no artificials, sorry, no artificial flavors or colors and no added sugar. Oh gosh, it won't focus in. But that's what it says right there, which is really, really what you're looking for. I'm gonna turn this down just a little bit. So on the back, you always wanna look for those additional sugars. So this does say it has five grams of sugar, but it's actually just the natural sugars from the tomatoes themselves. So you'd be surprised as you shop around and you look at some of these different tomato sauces, a lot of them will have 10, 11, 12 grams of sugar or more. So that's something that you really wanna look for. And when you read the ingredients on this one here, it's just tomatoes. A puree, some peppers, olive oil, onions, um, so all kinds of all natural things. So this is a really good one. Also, if you wanted one that's just simple and like a plain tomato puree, you could use um, Hunt's. They have a really great just basic puree and it's just tomatoes and it's the sugars in it are natural just from the tomatoes themselves. So, okay, so I'm going to leave this on low and let it simmer a little bit while we go ahead and prep the sauce for the um, for the casserole. So yes, and there is garlic in here. I did put about two cloves of garlic. It's not on the recipe, but I just modified it slightly and we browned it up and then added it to our meat here. So, okay, let me get a bowl. So the rice is done, it's steamed. Really easy peasy, so that's one of the reasons why I love this. Um, so this is a neat little keto hack if you wanna save yourself some time and you don't want to uh, create your own riced um, cauliflower, you can kind of just do it this way, so. All right. So that's it, that should be pretty good. I don't know if anybody else uses this, but I, I love it. So makes makes recipes and um, sometimes eating at night a lot easier. So the recipe calls for 12 ounces of cauliflower rice, and this one's pretty close. There's 10 ounces in this bag, so we're really close as far as the measurements go. So let's see what's next on the list. So in a mixing bowl, stir together cottage cheese. I don't have any, so we're just gonna skip that ingredient, but you would normally put your cottage cheese in here and the sour cream and mix in any green onions if you wanted them. And then from there, um, you add it to the cauliflower rice, and then you start to build your, your casserole. So I'm going to go ahead and put in, the recipe calls for, let's see here, one and a quarter, sorry, a half a cup of sour cream and one and a quarter cups of cottage cheese. So I'm just gonna put like half this container here of the sour cream and see how it does. Being that I don't have the cottage cheese, um, I think it's still gonna taste delicious. I'm not even worried about it. But if you, any of you make this true to uh, the recipe, I would love to for you to... Sorry, I just had an alarm go off for my fast. <laughs> I would love to have you guys tag me in it and share um, how it went for you. So, okay, let's add a little bit of spice to this. The recipe doesn't call for any spices. So I'm just gonna do like two teaspoons maybe of an Italian seasoning. So let's just try one and give it a stir and see what it looks like. Oh. A 
That smells so creamy and good. I'm gonna add a little bit of fresh um, ground pepper and salt as well. Okay, so really easy, right you guys? Nice and simple. Um, so I think this is gonna be great. Let's see if we can make a little room. And that's it, we're just going to start to build our casserole, casserole now. So really easy, right? Like I tell you guys, I know in the beginning sometimes keto can be so overwhelming, but it's really not that hard. Um, you can find recipes with just a few ingredients. You know, I usually try and stick to like four or five really nice quality ingredients. And then, um, you know, you can definitely support your, your health journey, so. Okay, let me turn this off and let's start to create our casserole. I'm gonna make some space here. Sorry, I have a very small workspace, y'all, so we just have to make it work. Okay, so let's see how this goes. I'm surprised you guys are so quiet tonight. Okay, so I'm going to just go ahead and start putting this into my casserole dish. I probably should have put a little bit of uh, olive oil in here just to kind of keep it from sticking, but there's still a lot of fat in the, um, in the beef, so I think it's gonna be fine. It smells divine, I sure wish I could eat it. <laughs> So yeah, I definitely didn't have enough beef to do um, more than one layer, but that's okay. It's still gonna be awesome. Um, but one day I'll make this again and I'll have like two pounds of ground beef and we'll make a few layers uh, on the casserole and almost build it like a lasagna. I bet you that would look really cool. Okay, so there's all of our beef. And now I'm just going to start and uh, add this um, mixture here. It's got our sour cream, right? It looks really good, you guys. Really yummy, nice and uh, cheesy, creamy, and delicious. So this is, this mixture here is our sour cream and our rice cauliflower. I've got some Italian seasoning and some salt and pepper in here. And we're going to just start to spoon this across the top. And then I'm going to top it with some cheddar because, you know, you can't have a casserole without cheese, so... I love cheddar, it's one of my favorite um, cheeses to work with, but I love all cheese. So I really send a lot of love and respect to those of you who are keto and you are dairy free. I don't know how you do it, but I give you so much love. <laughs> hey Vonda, welcome. Yeah, I think it looks super good. I've never made this recipe before, so it's brand new. We're all learning together. Really excited to try it. I'll have to wait until my fast is over, but that's okay. Leftovers, I think, always taste better, especially casseroles like this uh, the second time. Usually they taste more uh, in-depth flavor and cheesy, I think, um, on the second run through. So, yes, I am making, for anybody that's just jumping on now, a low-carb sour cream beef bake casserole. So, really super easy. All we did was brown some beef. We added some tomato sauce. I uh, browned a little garlic. And then this here is just rice cauliflower with some sour cream. You would add some uh, cream cheese if you, no, not cream cheese, I'm sorry, um, cottage cheese if you had it. And um, just a little seasoning. So we're putting that on. And now I'm just gonna uh, top it with some cheddar. So like literally, if I wasn't talking this whole time, you guys, I mean, I don't know, what did this take? Maybe 10 minutes, 10 or 15 minutes from start to end. So really, really easy recipe. Um, and it serves eight. So it's gonna be really, really good for you. So this, by the way, is two cups of uh, shredded cheddar, or grated cheddar, sorry. Um, and I definitely didn't need that much because I had the smaller casserole. So let me see if this is hot. No, it's not. Let me go ahead and pull it up and show you guys. So there we go. 
What do you guys think? Um, I think it looks like a really great recipe. I can't wait to share with you guys what it tastes like. I'll make sure I get the taste test from my boyfriend tonight. Normally I do a live tasting on my page and I give you guys some feedback, but because I'm fasting right now, I'm gonna hold off until I try this um, when my fast is over. We're going to be baking this, by the way, in an oven, 350 degrees for 20 minutes. So it will be done in no time. So thank you all so much for joining me tonight. If you had fun, make sure you go ahead and send me a friend request if we're not connected yet and go ahead and give this video a quick share. Thank you all. Have a great night. I'll be back to chat with you guys again soon. Take care.